Picture this. You finally learned how to create a listing to sell your product on Amazon after watching a debt to dollars video of course, and now you need to upload the images. The problem is, is that you have no idea how to take professional looking product images. So what do you do? You jump back to the supplier's website, you take a snip of their main image, and you upload it to your Amazon listing. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Do not do that. What's going on guys? Josh with Debt to Dollars here where I teach you how to take side hustles and turn them into financial freedom such as selling on Amazon. Today, this video has actually been in the making for some time and I've been meaning to get around to it. So I'm really excited to share with you how to take professional looking images for your Amazon listing, for your Shopify listing, or for your eBay listing. It applies to all of them and it gives you that nice crisp white background that you see in a lot of those images. Now you may be thinking that, hey, I probably need an expensive DSLR camera. I definitely need some expensive software to edit these pictures with. And the answer to that is no, you don't. And so that's what the creative part of this video is I'm gonna show you how to do this all with the simple use of your cell phone camera, take the images with your camera, and then we'll use an open source software or actually the, the editing software on your phone to get that crisp white background. So before we actually get into taking the pictures and I can show you guys how to edit that, I wanna spend some time on the Amazon photo requirements. It's extremely important to understand what is required of you when you are posting images on your product listings and what you can and cannot do. So we'll spend a couple minutes on that and then we'll get into the light box, which if you're unsure what a light box actually is, it's really just taking a studio with lighting itself and bringing it down into a small sizable scale so you can fit it in your, in your room and you can take actually professional looking images with that white background. We'll go into more detail on that here in a little bit. And then we're gonna finish off the video with actually taking the pictures with your cell phone. And then I'm gonna show you how you can edit the pictures using the actual software on your phone, which makes it extremely simple. And then if you're looking for a more professional looking image, I will show you an open source software and I'll show you guys how to tweak the image quality as well as edit some of the, the key features of that image so it can look a lot more clean. All right, and so let's get started with the photo requirements. Okay, so starting off, we wanna take a look at the product image requirements for selling on Amazon. Uh, there's a link that I put in the video links that you can go check out down below that'll take you to this. Uh, there is an exhaustive list here that you can read through, but I really just wanna hit the key points so that you're aware of what to do and what not to do. Now, there's another way you can find a lot of this information. If you do go to your, your product listing creation page and you go to the images tab up the top here, you'll see this, it says, see image guidelines. And Amazon puts this here just to remind you before you go ahead and upload images for approval, just so you don't upload something that they won't eventually approve. So as you're seeing here, these are the main bullet points that you need to be aware of, in addition to that list that we looked at previously. And the main thing is for that first image is that you want it to have that white background. And as you can see here, this is just an Amazon uh, search for kitchenware. I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but if you look, all of these images have a white background for that first picture. And that's because it's an Amazon requirement so that they have their, their marketplace looking very clean and all the images in one way or another actually look very similar. So that's one of the first and biggest requirements is that this main image has to have a white background and nothing else in it. If you don't have that, Amazon isn't gonna approve your listing and they're gonna reject that image. Another bullet here is that the products must fill up at least 85% of the image. Now what that means is that that image that you take, 85% or more of it has to be the actual product itself. So you don't want to center your product in the middle of the frame and it only takes up you know, about a third or 20% of that image. It has to take up the vast majority of the image itself. Second bullet point we already discussed is that white background and then the third and fourth is a little bit more technical. Uh, they're saying the images must be at least 1000 pixels on the longest side and at least 500 pixels on the shortest side. All you have to really know as a beginner Amazon seller, and you may not have this technical understanding of what this means, just be aware that the larger the picture, the better the quality, the better your chances are of having your products approved. And the last one here is that JPEG, which is the image format, um, is what's preferred. However, Amazon will also accept the TIFF and, and GIF files. Uh, I've also seen them accept the PNG files, but just be on the safe side and make sure to save your, your photo in the JPEG image format. Fortunately, if you have a cell phone, more than likely it's gonna take the image in the JPEG format, so you won't have to do any converting on the back end. Now here's the fun part. We need to go ahead and we need to either purchase or we need to create our light box. Start off by Googling DIY for do-it-yourself light box, and immediately you should get some hits. 
On the right side, you'll see some for sale, a little over 10 US dollars, or you can create one from an online tutorial for under $10. That's what I ended up doing. It's really up to you on what you want to do here. I made my light box using this video tutorial here on YouTube, and it was extremely simple. All you need is a large cardboard box to fit your product in, some tape, white paper, scissors, and some lights. After you've built your light box or purchased one from the internet, put it on an elevated surface where it's easy to access and take pictures from. Next, use an existing light or purchase one from Amazon. This will cast away any shadows that are on the product when you're about to take your picture. Turn on the light and face it towards the light box. Lastly, center your product in the light box and we're all set and ready to go. Get out your cell phone camera and now we're going to take some pictures of the product. You want to make sure that you're close enough where the product will take up at least 85% of the image. Obviously, don't take any pictures where the product takes up the entire image. You want some exterior space. And then also don't take any images that are too far away where uh, the product is extremely small. Once you've got one or a couple that you like, go to your photo library. Near the bottom of the screen, you'll see the edit button and click that. This takes you into editing mode for images. On an iPhone, scroll over to the exposure and we want to increase it until we see that white background begin to appear. There's no science to it, so just use your eyes to judge here. You can then go ahead and increase the brilliance, the contrast, and you can adjust your brightness to give it a more crisper look. After that, click done and save once it looks professional and you're all set and ready to upload it to Amazon. So you've seen how to do it with your phone. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the software on your desktop to give it a more professional and clean looking appearance for all your images. So what you need to do, at first you need to download your GIMP software, which is the free open source software that we'll use for this. It is a, a pretty technical software, but I'm gonna show you guys just the two things that you need to do within that software to give your background that white appearance. So what you need to do now is go ahead and type in GIMP install. And this is going to take you to the download page here. So click that first link. And here's the download page. You have two options on how to install this. Um, it is available for both Microsoft Windows as well as for iOS systems, uh, Linux systems. On the bottom right here where it says download GIMP directly, do that and don't go uh, download it through the BitTorrent. So click that and then you should be able to see the download starting to happen. And there it goes. If you guys end up liking the software, go up to the top here and click donate. That's how these open source softwares actually continue being released for free as people go ahead and they donate an amount of money for using that software. Once you've had GIMP installed, you can now go ahead and open the application. It may ask you a couple questions starting off if it's your first time opening it, but once you get to the main page, it should look like this. Now I know at first this looks very confusing and honestly I had no idea the first time I was using this what I was actually looking to do. So I'm going to show you the simple steps of what you need to do, and then you can watch more tutorials online if you want to continue improving your image quality and editing your photos. So what you need to do is go to where you downloaded your image. So that rock image that we took earlier, I downloaded it here, and now we are going to just drag and drop it into GIMP. Once you've done that, it may ask you a question here if you want to convert it. Always convert it, and then it should pop up. So that is the image that we took with our cell phone. This isn't the photo that we edited on our phone. As you can tell, it does look pretty good, but it is not up to Amazon's image requirements because you can still see like an opaque looking color on the bottom here from the shadows, as well as the upper portion isn't entirely white. We are gonna give it that white color by toying around with a little bit of the settings. Go to colors on the upper left-hand corner, and then you need to find levels. Once you click that, you'll see this very confusing and technical looking pop-up window. All you need to do is click this button right here where it says pick white point for all channels. What this is gonna do is an eyedropper tool that allows you to select what you want to be completely white um, in, in your background color here. So once you click that, you'll see the eyedropper and then you wanna find the whitest part on that background. For me, it was this upper right-hand corner. For you, it could be the left side, right side. It doesn't really matter where you click, but it has to be the, the whitest color that you see. So once you do that, click it, and you should see a little bit of a change. Now that wasn't a, a huge change, so what I'm gonna do is go down to the other end where it's a little bit darker, and click it. Now look at that. So as soon as I did that in the, the bottom left-hand corner, uh, it ended up turning everything in that background completely white, except the rock. And so now this looks like a professional looking image. Make sure before you save or do anything, click OK here, and that just saves what you did with the levels. 
At this point, you can save the image by going to the upper left hand corner and you can save it as a GIMP file. That's basically just, it'll take you right back here. But if you want to export it so you can use it on your Amazon page, you'll want to go to export as. Now it's going to ask you, where do you want to save it to? I usually put edited GIMP in the back end there, just so I know. And then remember what I, I mentioned earlier on the photo requirements is that the preferred photo type is a JPEG. That's exactly what's here. It's a JPG. So that stands for JPEG. And now we export it and it will ask you one more time uh, just to confirm these settings. Don't worry about what any of this means. Just click export. And once it's done, go back to that file. And man, you can already tell, like, look at, look how clear and white that is compared to our original photo. So let's look at a comparison here. So this is the unedited image that we took with our cell phone. And then this is what it looks like now after we use the GIMP software. You can tell there are some little complexions down here that are dark. Amazon won't reject your listing because of small stuff like that, but they will reject your listing if it looks like this because that's not completely white. So there you have it. It's pretty simple of how to do that using the desktop software called GIMP. All right, that pretty much wraps us up here, guys. At this point, you now know how to take your cell phone and take high quality images and also edit them to be able to use them on your Amazon product listings or on Shopify or eBay. It applies to all of them. So at this point, I want you guys to know that this was really a beginner tutorial. I don't personally use this method, uh, although I have when I first got started, but as you become more professional in your Amazon selling experience, you wanna go ahead and purchase a, a higher quality camera and also use the software that I showed you guys how to use. If you're looking for a tutorial on that in the future, make sure to head down below and subscribe. I will be posting that video here in the coming months, if not the coming weeks. And that way you guys can see that and you can have a, a higher image quality for your product listing images. All right guys, I'll catch y'all next time and thank you so much for watching.